You guys, it's finally here. Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Get into my first draft. It's 20 minutes past the hour. Oh, is Academy Ruins in this draft? Maybe we could slaver lock somebody? Mind slaver? I don't know. That could be cool. Uh, Marchess is really good, right? Grixis 3-4. When you commit a crime, pay one. Draw a card, right? That's really nice. Emergent Haunting and Wrangler are the damned or like blue-white cards. Treasure Dredger is a pretty good card. Slick Sequence is good. Explosive de Derailment. I'm an expert on this set already. Look at me. Uh, I don't know. I feel like Marchessa is a reasonable card that we'll have access to every once in a while. So we could just start with this. I feel like if I take Mind Slaver, I'll play it. Almost definitely, right? Unless I'm an aggro deck. I don't know. Is Mind Slaver that good? It's like a 10 mana. I don't know if I could bring it back. I probably can't really bring it back at all. I don't know. I'm going to take this Marchessa card. I'll be like Grixis Crimes. We'll see how that goes. I mean, I have no idea how it's going to go, right? I've never drafted this set, obviously, right? Uh, all right, we got Jagged Barons. That's a nice duel. It also caused, uh, does a crime. Blood Hustler, 2 mana, 1-1, one, one, commit a crime, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. I mean, pay 4, which is a crime. This card's pretty good. I'm leaning towards this one. Uh, Tyrant Scorn is nice, right? It's a removal spell and a bounce spell. It's also on colors. Uh, all of these are pretty good. I think I'll take the creature over the um, bounce slash tough to cast removal spell. Uh, Mourner Surprise is pretty good. I think this Wolverine's pretty good too. A lot of nice choices here, but we'll take the Blood Hustler. Uh, I haven't said this already. If you guys have not liked or subscribed, I really appreciate it. Trying to grow my channel. Can't do it without your help. If you're new to the channel, I do a new draft video uh, every day, Monday through Friday, and sometimes on the weekends. I try to play in all the limited events as well. Uh, Rattleback, Apothecary is nice. 3 mana, 3 2 Death Touch. When you commit a crime, target creature you control gains Menace or Lifelink till the turn. I think that's pretty good. I don't know if. This card's good. This town ain't big enough. Uh, oh, this is bounce two things. If you target one of your things, it costs three less. I think that card's fine, but I think Apothecary is stronger. Uh, I like Phantom Interference a lot as well. Uh, it's Quelch or four mana two two haste. Sorry, four mana two two flash, where you combine them. Spring Slasher is a crime enabler as well. Uh, Trick Shot's pretty expensive. I don't think I want that. So, uh, All right, two black cards and one Grixis card so far. Essence Capture is fine. It's going to be pretty hard to cast, though. Plan the Heist. Surveil three if you have no cards in hand. Draw three. All right, so this is draw three and surveil if you have no, three if you have no cards in your hand. Hellspur Brute is fine. Uh, Peddler's good. Two mana, two, two. Um, Rummage. Uh, I think we'll take the Peddler. Nice two drop. Help us draw some early cards. Discard some cards we don't want. This Brood is pretty good. I don't know how good the Brood is. It must be pretty good, right? I'll take the Brood, actually. Maybe I'll cast this card super cheap. We have three creatures right now, and they're all Outlaws. And Outlaws are, I think it's like Warmp. It's Warlocks, Assassins, Rogues, mercenaries and pirates so warp i think that's how to think about it um siphon insight what is this uh look at the top two cards of target opponent's library exile one face down put the other at the bottom of the library you may play the exiled card for as long as it remains exiled um so this is kind of like pay two draw one and then like pay three draw one doesn't seem very good it does it does commit a crime which is cool Hollow Marauder, or this is like the creature cards in your graveyard. That's like a black-green card. I don't think we want that. Outlaw's Fury, we don't want that. Boombox, we don't want that either. Uh, this pack is not so good for us. I don't think this is what we want for our deck, but I guess I'll take it. Yeah, this, this is a bad pack for us. That's the first miss I think we've had so far. Seize the Secrets should be good, right? Like we play turn three, we play a tapped land, commit a crime, then we could draw two cards. I think that's our pick here. Rooftop Assassin seems okay too. Four mana, two, two, enters the battlefield, destroy a dark creature. An opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. 
A lot of green. Looks like green is open, although none of these are crazy good. So maybe not. This helps with mana, but it goes on top of your library. I don't know. If we we're going to be three colors, we probably want something like this, but I'm going to take the playable to seize the secret so far. All the de I haven't seen a desert in a while. Maybe there's not a desert in every pack. I guess there's a swamp in this one, so. Uh, Discerning Peddler is good. Buzzard is good. Is this one good? Four mana, three, four, sack another creature, put a one, one counter on it. Um, it's okay. Seems solid. Neutralize the guards. Three mana. It's a nice combat trick. I think I'll take the Peddler here. Just a two drops or can't get enough of those. Uh, rest in peace. Seize the secrets. Take up the shield, guys. It's so good. I played Two-Headed Giant over the weekend. That was the only pre-release I played in. My wife and I 3-0'd. She was like this red-green, awesome stompy deck. Jolene, Roxanne, we were singing all the songs. It was awesome. And I just played like just take up the shields and the blue combat trick that shrinks a power and, and draws a card. We just crushed everybody. She just played big creatures and I protected them. It was awesome. Uh, okay, I got to take up this spell here, right? I'll take this Boneyard Desecrator, I think. Uh, Mirage Mesa, choose a color. Okay, uh, I think tabling explosive derailment is a good sign. I think that means red is open. Uh, I like Phantom Air Interference a lot too. I think it's better in like the blue-white deck, but... We'll take Derailment, destroys an artifact, does four to a creature, um, nice removal spell, three mana does four, very happy to table this. To me, red is open if I'm getting this pick nine. Um, red, white, signpost, tables. Two mana, two, two, pay one life, create a treasure. This can help us play uh, three colors, right? So that's a nice pick. Bandit's Hall could be also pretty good for playing three colors. It's a nice mana rock. And I like Murner's Surprise, too. Our pack's so good. Oh, this was an our pack. This is the next pack. I'll take the two two drop here, though. Um, I don't think I'm going to play any of these. I think Holy Cow is solid. I don't love this. Uh, I'll take Trick Shot. I'll put that in the board. Uh, if we really need removal, we'll take Trick Shot. Uh, this card's fine. Sack a creature, draw two cards. This is a 1-1 one, one that when it dies makes another 1-1. One, one. I don't think we have anything, really... For that just yet i don't think so so right now we only have one blue card and it's not the best so we could just be like black red splash blue for marchesa i think that's fine but we need some land we need some fixing uh okay we got some good blue cards here we got a carom and we got a slick sequence uh none of these are good rackish crew is super good though or at least i think it's super good i don't know yet uh three mana Make a mercenary. Whenever an outlaw you control dies, each opponent loses one life. You gain one life. This is kind of a build around card. We're going to take it. Um, since we're black red, it's going to be pretty hard to splash. You know, it's not like we're green. So we may have to rely on treasure tokens. So I'm going to keep that in mind moving forward. Treasure tokens, I'll value a little bit more like Mine Raider. Um, so we could play Marchesa because unless we get a bunch of like. Um, uh, blue red or blue black deserts it's going to be kind of tough to to cast here so um ra easy rackish crew for us although i do like these blue red cards that's like a different theme we're like we're like grixis outlaws and crimes we're not multi spells or at least so far we're not uh take the fall is a card i was mentioning before about two headed giant uh nice solid cantrip thunder salvo is okay it's like two to do two if you play multiple spells it'll be a little bit more Maybe two to do three. Probably not much more than that. I'm thinking Explosive Derailment is just better. It costs one more, but it does four. Uh, this Slick Shot Lock Picker is a mouthful. That gives something flashback. I don't know how good that is. It doesn't, doesn't seem that good. Uh, Mine Rot and Raid get a treasure token? I don't think so. I think we'll take a, a Explosive Derailment here get another removal spell. Uh, we got four blue cards in this pack. Uh, unfortunate accident. Oh, this is a removal spell, right? Destroy target creature for three more. For one more, get a mercenary token. This card's okay. I think Dead Eye Duelist is cool too because you could like ping your opponent, which is a crime, crime, crime. It also blocks uh, pretty well. Two mana, one, three reach. I don't know what these blue cards do. 
Oh, that makes something a rabbit. This enters the battlefield, put a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, that's, this is like a blue-red card, so we don't really want to do that one. It is, it is pretty strong, though. Shifting grit. Oh, no, that one changes colors. The rare is not good. I think I'll take unfortunate accident here. Nice removal spell. Uh, terminal agony. Destroy target creature. Madness 2. I don't think madness is going to be relevant for us. Conduit py pylon seems okay. Because we do want to have something to play the blue. But terminal agony. Are we discarding cards for anything? Is this they discard? Yeah, they discard. Just seeing if there's any discard outlets. Yeah, I have Discerning Peddler, so that could work with Terminal Agony. That could be cool. That's probably my only one right now. It is, yeah. That's okay. I mean, it's still solid, right? Uh, okay, Surgical Extraction is not a limited card we want to play. Forsaken Miner is pretty good. One mana, 2-2 two, two Beater. It's also an outlaw. Whenever you commit a crime, pay one black, return it. I think we'll probably take this. We just have to figure out how to splash Marchesa here. Um, we got nothing so far. Uh, I, I think it's probably fine for Black Red, but if we can manage to play Blue, um, that would really... Because this card's very strong, right? But at this point, I don't know if I would have preferred Mind Slaver, because Mind Slaver is a slow card. Six to play, then four to activate. But our Black Red's looking pretty good. That Knife Point might be the uh, signpost uncommon for this, or it's at least one of them, but... As long as your turn, Outlaws, you control a first strike, which makes that uh, four mana flash vampire good, that if a creature was dealt combat damage this turn, kill it, right? Whenever you commit a crime, create a mercenary, uh, which is great. So we'll take out at knife point here. I think this deck's pretty good right now. Another Forsaken Miner. Vault Plunderer is solid. Oh my god, my battery's running low? What are you talking about? Isn't my thing plugged in? What happened? Okay, pause. Oh, yep, yeah, not plugged in. Okay. Okay, we're plugged in now, guys. Yeah, Forsaken Miner, we'll take this. Nice beater, early drop. Um, anytime I commit a crime, pay one to bring it back. Volt Plunder is really nice as well. But uh, Bloodseeker, great two drop. Enters the battlefield, target player mills two cards. So if you're like the black-green deck, you target yourself. If not, you probably target your opponent. So you commit a crime. Two mana, two, do lifelink. This card's insane. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Where are the on-color lands? Uh, I guess we'll take the Mine Raider here. I haven't looked at our curve at all. Uh, we could definitely afford to take a three here, though. Yeah, we'll take this. We should have another outlaw. I feel like our deck is entirely outlaws. Um, I wish they added that outlaw here. That would help, but... They'd have to make a new one of those for essentially every set. Uh, Rooftop Ass Assassin was the card I was talking about with the first strike. Um, we'll see. If we have our creatures at first strike, you know, our 1-1 one -one does first strike. We play this, we kill their creature. Nice flying lifelink. It's a nice solid beater. Help turn the tide as well. I'll take this duelist. I think this is fine. I'm not sure if we'll play it, but because we already have 22 playables. Nurturing Pixies, pick 12. Is nobody white? I'm going to just cut this card. Another Duelist. This is the first draft. Nobody knows what's good or bad at this point, but... Kellen joins up. That's not us. Intimidation Campaign. That is us. And that card is also very good and worth splashing, I think. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. You gain one life and you draw a card. Every time you commit a crime, you could bounce this to your hand. So really nice, but like, how are we going to play it? Like right now, I feel like I would just be black red. We have no fixing at all. We have a couple cards that make treasures, right? I don't know if it's worth it. I'm going to take this if I can play blue. Like even if I just, I have enough playables right now, right? So if I just prioritize fixing, like if I get a couple deserts, this pack, if I get like two... I think that's like, it's possible, right? Probably not likely, given what we've seen so far. Um, like at knife, am I going to take an at knife point or a conduit pylons, you know? 
not super easy. Uh, if it was a desert, then maybe, but I'm going to take that knife point. Although if you have two of these, it doesn't really help, right? It doesn't... Oh, you get an extra. Yeah, you get an extra mercenary. You lose, you lose out on the first strike, but you get an extra mercenary. We have enough creatures. I think we take out knife point here. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take the pylons. I want to be able to play these blue cards pretty easily. Nothing in here. What's this one do? Add one amount of any color. Spend this only to count a amount spell. All right, that doesn't help. Um, no playables in this pack. Zero. Because, like, I don't think this is going to replace anything. Although Seize the Secrets is in here, so... I don't think I want to play Gigapede. It's probably okay. No, we have a couple stinkers in here. What's this? Three mana. Target creature plus two. So I don't like that card at all. Uh, I'm going to take the Gigapede. I don't think I'll play it. It's not a mercenary either. I'll take the Desecrator, actually. Roadrunner, take for a ride. Another land we can't cast. Like, Do I want to play Oasis Gardener? I, I hate these kind of cards. These cards are super lame. We're not control at all. We're like an aggro deck with two really good blue cards. Uh, take for a ride is good. So is Roadrunner. I'm not sure. I'm going to take more inner surprise here. Damn, another not on color land. Uh, this is a good pack. Sharpshooter's nice. Uh, four to plot, does two to something. And then, uh, or it's just a three mana, three, three reach. Bloodseeker's really good. It doesn't have a good creature type, but... Or another derailment. This is really good, too. I'm going to take the Brigand. Brigand's really, really good. I guess we'll decide we're going to play blue, even though we have no fixing at all for it. This could be a mistake. I have a really good black-red deck, too. What to do, what to do. This buzzard's fine. Uh, two great two drops again. Peddler or Bloodseeker. They're both really nice. I think Blood, Bloodseeker is better, though. Just doesn't have the creature type, I guess. Um, this card's good, but I don't think we play it. I want to keep my Outlaws, actually. Like, the Buzzer's not an Outlaw. Neither is this Splasher. Alright, I thought it would be a little easier to Splash in this format. Uh, Rooftop Assassin, I have one already, right? I do. I'll take a Vault Plunder. I don't know, guys. Do I play the blue or not? This is going to keep me up at night, I think. Hmm. I, I don't know. I feel like I don't need it. Like, our deck's really good. I think it's really good, at least. Our mana base just gets so much worse, you know? None, all our blue cards are very... Not Seize the Secrets, but Nibble, Nimble Brigand is really good. 3 mana, 1, 3. If you committed a crime, it's unblockable. Deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. It's, it's really good. But we have, like, nothing for fixing. Like, we could take Bandit's Hall. It's just so slow. Take the Roadrunner, I guess. Roadrunner's good, but I really just want... Wow. Bloodseeker is really good. I do I do really want to keep as many outlaws as possible, though. Okay, let's build this deck. Alright, so we like outlaws a lot. I don't think we want to play Marauder. That's I feel like we need a lot of self-mill self for that, which we could play like Bloodseeker for that purpose, but I'm not so sure. This Brute should be really good. I'm glad I took this. I don't think I want two Boneyard Desecrators. 
All right, so outlaws, see this is tough, right? It says I have 16 creatures, 3, 4, 9, 11, 12, 19, 21. Yeah, all right, so this is 28. There's 28 creature types here, so it's tough to tell, like, what is an outlaw or not. So we have rogues, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I should have just counted the non-mercenary. Uh, so we have Roadrunner and Bloodseeker. I think those are the only ones that are not. Um, and they're both pretty strong cards. We also have a ton of creature, a ton of cards that make them, right? Accident makes one. God, I wish, I really wish we could play blue. But I think this deck's still pretty good, right? We have at night knife point. Didn't we take two at knife points? No, we didn't, right? We took the one of the blue cards, I think, maybe. I don't know. This deck seems really good, right? But now, like, we're not playing any rares. I mean, which is fine. We don't. You don't need a rare to have a good deck, right? I feel like we're doing everything we want to do, though. Maybe I play Outlaw's Fury, too. We may be making a lot of Outlaws. I think Outlaw's Fury could be good. I think we're okay on removal with two derailments. And um, I know we have at least one black removal spell. Yeah, Terminal Agony and um, Unfortunate Accident. I think this deck looks pretty good. I think we could probably play 16 lands. We could just play it as is. Maybe three of the Desperate Bloodseekers too much, but... It's good. It's definitely good. Didn't we add the... Uh... Oh no, I'm still sorting like this. Yeah, we'll play Outlaw's Fury. We'll cut one card. I think a Bloodseeker, just because it's not an Outlaw. It's good. I never want to mill myself. I don't think I want to mill myself. Yeah, I'm happy with it, guys. I think it's good. I'm just, I am still a little bummed about the whole uh, not playing blue situation, but 16 and 10. Really, I don't have any double black cards, so I think eight and eight is the way to go. So discard outlets for this. I think we just have the uh, peddler is the only one. So four mana destroy creature, not the best removal spell ever, but I still think it's worth playing. I can't wait to cast this for one. Okay. I mean, we have three really good blue cards in the board, but I don't like splashing in aggro decks unless I have really... Good support for it. All right, let's get into it. Time Master. It says this isn't ranked, but I'm sure it is, right? Uh, on the play, no two drops. It's kind of unfortunate. We do have quite a few. We're going to keep it, of course, but... Uh, I I don't know. If we just play Mountain, like, do they know we have this? Or does this not? I wonder if uh, it stops during main phases. Like, if they played a creature here, would this stop? Because I can't actually do anything with this. Uh, Armadillo is good, I think. 04, Ward 1, Pay 4. It gets plus 4, plus 0. Conduit, okay. Alright, we'll play our uh, first creature here, Volt Plunder. Four two when it attacks, while saddled creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. Okay, I'm going to uh, attack first. Right? Do I attack? They'll probably just block with the O four. I don't need the treasure that much. 
Whatever, I'll just play this. Or do I play this? Or do I just keep thinking about something that doesn't really matter that much? Alright, green white. So green white's theme is like saddling, right? We have Outlaw's Fury, so we could kind of go wide and play a longer game and then like swing out big. Maybe that'll be the plan. What what just happened? Oh, <laughs> all right. That's what plot does. There's an explosive no noise that happens. Enters the battlefield. Creatures you control gain plus one plus one of vigilance till end of turn. Plot is four. We're drawing quite a few lands here. All right. I'm gonna swing and see what happens. I'll probably cast Rooftop Assassin with my treasure. I could pay the ward on the armadillo. It's only one actually as well. Okay, so we'll just let this happen. See if they have anything. They don't. Okay. We'll play Assassin. I think that was the wrong block for them, right? Because wouldn't you want the Trample creature to die? Or I guess they're just thinking they don't want to take one damage. I don't know. I think that was the wrong block. Looks like they might be... Never mind. It's going to say stuck on four lands. They do play the four or five. Uh, we are getting flooded now. But we have a 2-2 two -two lifelinker, so that's fine. I think we attack with both. If they block, we'll cast uh, Explosive Derailment on it. So I think that's okay. They do block. Um, they don't have an artifact, right? So let's see how this works. Okay. So now we trample over for two. Okay, they're not doing too much here. Uh, Roadrunner's a good draw, right? Just attack with this. Doesn't look like they have any instants because that resolved right away. So I'm not sure what they're waiting on with six lands. Maybe they're flooded. At knife point, uh, doesn't really help us right now, but it's still not a land, so I'll take it. I'm going to cast Outlaw's Fury now. Uh, until the end of next turn, you could play it. Yeah, let's do it. And we'll commit a crime next turn. They're at four. I don't know if there's a Wrath in the format. Like, I could play this now. I think that might be foolish, though. I really need to figure out if there's a Wrath in this format or not, though. After this game, I'll check. There's the Wrath. Okay. Okay. Really getting flooded here. Alright, so we make them mill, so we commit a crime. So we get a 1-1. One, one. Fractured Identity. Okay. Oh, those were good cards to mill. Those are both pretty big, so... Um, we'll play a mountain here. We'll go in full control, and then we'll pass. What did they just play? Uh, Oko. Okay, this isn't that good, right? I mean, it's probably good and limited, right? But draw two cards and then discard one. That's what they're going to do, or they can make a 3-3. Three, three. God, we really had them. If... We have no rares in our deck, by the way, and they have one... <laughs> Two, I guess we've only seen three so far. All right, I mean, I, if we weren't, like, we have eight lands in play right now. That's crazy, dude. And we almost, we almost win this game. Just really getting flooded here.
Okay. Uh, whenever you cast a creature spell, another land, huh? Create a gnome or create a token that's a copy of target artifact you control. All right, we'll play our uh, ninth land. Now, I don't think we played bad um, because we we cast the the pump spell to put them to four. We didn't cast Desperate Bloodseeker when we could have because we were worried about Wrath, and Wrath is fell the mighty. Yeah, we don't have a lot of invasion. I feel like we can't win this game at this point. Okay. Alright, so how do we win this game, guys? Not sure. Uh, we need Rackish Crew, and then just, like, we need to commit a crime every single turn. We're playing 16 lands, guys. 16 lands. We've drawn 11 lands this game. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8. Okay, um, well, it started off good, right? I mean, I don't know. Monsteret. Monsteret. Okay. Hand looks fine. Hand looks fine. Okay, so we can make some treasures to ramp here a bit. Hopefully we draw some lands. We're on the draw, so that's cool. We have an early Rackish crew, which I think is very exciting. Very excited about that. We have our Bloodseeker, which is nice. I'm, I'm excited for this card. 2-2 two, two reach. Tap, add 2 mana of any color on mounts, or add 1 green. We need three for that. Uh, we could just, no, I was going to say we could just go to discard and use Terminal Agony, but no, we, we can't do that, nor do we want to do that. But So we want to land here for sure for Rackish Crew. We got Mana Screwed big time, or Mana Flooded big time last game, so we'll probably get Mana Screwed this game. All right, nice deck. Maybe they'll play a 10-10 next turn. Uh, what do we do here? We probably just play Rackish Crew, right? Rackish Crew is really good. I don't think killing one of these makes any sense. They'll have six mana next turn, so maybe they'll play a big creature, nice terminal agony target. But yeah, I like where we're going with this right now. Oh no, they have a counter spell. Do they have the quench card? They totally have the quench card, right? And it's taking so long because they're they're picking the mode. Could be their first time ever casting this, right? They have two mana open, so okay, good. Not a clue what they have. Yeah, this reach animation is is too much. People said it's too much. It's too much. It's it's way too much. Like, the icon is there, you know, I'm, I'm sure I've attacked in the reach creatures before, don't get me wrong, but, like, the icon's there, you know, it's not, like, text buried in the card somewhere. Oh, that card's really good. Comes into play, adds a mana of any color, which is so weird, but it's also, like, pretty beneficial, right? So now they have three mana open, they could probably cast a four drop, or they have six mana if they play a mount or vehicle. But this is, if you don't know what it is, if you play another creature with power 4 or greater, uh, draw a card. It's actually when a creature with 4 or greater enters the battlefield, draw a card. This is a weird attack, right? Because they didn't attack last time. 
uh, if we block here, I think we just did. We have plenty of health, right? And we'll Rakish crew a lot as well, so um, we'll gain the life back, no problem. Like Vault Plunder right now, we draw another card. Um, Corrupted Conviction. To draw two cards, we could sack a Mercenary and draw two cards. That seems pretty good. Uh, especially it's an instant, so we could like block and then sack. Uh, plunder is pretty good, right? I could just play this on the 4-2. The 4-2 is really good. Yeah, I'm going to just kill the 4-2. I think, I think this is worth killing. Like, we know they might have something, right? I don't even know what they'd have. Like, green and one? Or blue and one? Like, they could have the quench, but I feel like you would cast the quench on the Rakish crew. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm surprised they didn't cast that. Um, I am going to not attack here. It's weird they didn't cast this on Rakish crew. I feel like that's pretty strong, but... If we draw a land next turn, maybe we just pass with Rooftop Assassin Mana open. Dance of the Tubbleweens, they're kicking it. I'm not kicking it. They're using all the spree, so they get a basic land or desert. They put it in the battlefield, then they make a... They're going to make a 5-5. Five five. So it's an XX where X is the number of lands you control. So that's a, probably a fine card to Terminal Agony. Okay. Nice little turn for them. At knife point, first strike on our turn. When you commit a crime, make a mercenary. When an outlaw you control dies, your opponent loses one life. So that doesn't trigger. It's not target opponent loses one life. I would like to draw some cards here, though. Mm, if I do this... So this does nothing if we cast it right now. This doesn't have trample, so like a block sack situation is pretty cool. Our mana is weird, right? If we had two swamps, we could play Bloodseeker and then have Corrupted Conviction mana open. I think we'll just pass here. Um, we're, we still have plenty of health. You know, their board's obviously way better than ours, but I think we're still okay. So I'm going to block the 5-5 five, five and play Corrupted Conviction this turn, sacking this, drawing two cards. Okay. Uh, when it becomes target of a spell or an ability, you draw a card. They draw another card. So nice card advantage so far for them. They draw three or two extra. It's only two extra cards, right? This doesn't trigger itself. Yeah. I keep getting blurry sometimes. Fix camera. My hand, my hand looks good. Stay with the hand. Does that work? I feel like that worked. Does that work? <laughs> I don't know why I thought that would work, but I guess it did. Alright, they should attack with both 2-2s two and the 5-5. Five five. That's what I think they'll do. And this is Outlaws at First Strike on your turn, which is a bummer. If it was used defensively, it would be a lot cooler with roof Rooftop Assassin. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe this guy disconnected, which would be good because we're not in great shape. I still think we can win this game, but maybe that's uh, foolish. Yeah, I think they disconnected. If they skip a combat phase here, that's, that's, that's cool. That's like at least four life I think we're saving. Okay. All right. We're almost there. Fingers crossed. We'll steal a game. Our opponent stole a game from us because we got flooded so bad last game. Ah, oh, love it. Okay. Yeah, so we pass here. Awesome. All right, let's make a treasure. Now we have four mana next turn. Sack this. Gain some life back. Get some lands. 
Okay, I hate that. I hate this reach thing, guys. Uh, okay, I want to play at knife point to start making some some guys here, but... Yeah, I think we play at knife point, and then we play Bloodseeker. So they have another instant in their hand, right? Uh, Bloodseeker to trigger, um, we'll have them be milled. That'll trigger at knife point, getting us a mercenary, a mercenary, mercenary. And then we'll have Rackish, <laughs> Rackish crew to block. This is the, this is the deck, right? This is what this black red deck wants to do. That probably like benefited them a little bit, but. All right, I, maybe I should have tried to go quicker that turn. Yeah, because now they're back, right? So if I went quicker, maybe we could have skipped another turn. Uh, so we're just going to block the 6-5 here. Oh no. Trample? Something trample? I don't know the tricks that much. I know there's like an overrun in this format that costs... I think it costs 5. It might even cost 6. It's plus 2, plus 2, trample. Oh man. Okay, we're at five. <laughs> just, just like that. Okay, well, let's hope they don't have any more uh, trample tricks here. So, trash the, the town. What are they doing? Plot. Okay, so... This is an instant kill spell, make a guy. That will trigger at knife point, which will give me a mercenary. So I'll get two mercenaries. I think we just pass with this open. And that's five. One, two, three, four. Okay. I think that's right. We'll just pass here. So yeah, if they give another, if they have another trample thing, we're in trouble. But all right, so this is a five, five. They draw a card. Yep. Beaver, okay. Yeah, they're drawing cards. I don't know, guys. Is it weird I think I could still win this? Probably, right? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? All right. Destroy the 8-7. Oh, this is just a 5-5? Five five? I thought it would be... I thought it would be like it grows, right? They do get to draw a card. Kills that. Got two mercenaries here. Let's um, let's block here. Let's block here. Um, let's block here, and we'll take two. If they, if they have a pump spell, a trample, we're dead. All right, that resolved right away. So they have four mana open, and they have no instance. Two more mercenaries dies. Two more triggers here. All right, we cast Terminal Agony. We'll get another mercenary. We play Mine Raider. We'll get a treasure token. I don't want to Vault Plunder them. We're like one mana short of what we want, right? We want a Terminal Agony. If this was the um, Rummage card, it would be in a lot better shape. So we play this, we've got a Treasure Token, we'll have three mana up. I think Agony is just better. Just like killing the 5-5, five five, jump blocking some more next turn. Probably not going to win that way, but... Making them draw a card gives me a token. Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's the play, guys. Yes. They get to draw a card, but I get it 1-1 one, one that way. Okay, let's keep fighting. Let's keep fighting. Wish we could kill, like, any of their creatures here. Okay. 
All right, 14 more uh, mercenaries, and we're good. We're at 9 now. It's pretty sweet. So we've probably gained 6 life this turn, given they're at 14. Uh, 6 life this game. Uh, I think we're dead now. Uh, we are just dead. Yeah. Close. Close, but no tamale. I think because we missed the land drop or two. Like, we're going to go to... Do we... Do we go to zero? No, I guess Rakish Crew doesn't trigger. We just die before then, so... Don't love being 0-2 with this deck. I feel like this deck's very good. I, obviously, it's the first day, so maybe I'm totally wrong, but this deck's definitely good. What do you guys think? You think I'm wrong? I guess you see. If I'm 0-3 next game, then you guys be like, no, you're stupid. The deck's bad, but it doesn't mean it's not bad. Or it's not good. Gentle Panther. All right, let's win this game, guys. I don't want to go 0-3 the first draft. That'll be sad. Especially when I'm, I was 3-0 in the only previous three games I played in this format. Uh, we have our Peddler and Terminal Agony, so we're going to go for that for sure, right? Triggering Madness. If you guys don't know what Madness is, if you discard this card, discard it in the Exile. When you do, you can cast it for its mad Madness cost and put it in the Graveyard. So essentially, I play this on turn 4, I discard Terminal Agony, I play the Magus, uh, Magnus, Magnus Madness cost... And then I also get to play Terminal Agony and kill a creature. So you, like, essentially you don't lose the discard card. Great draw. Alright, Plunder, our first Rogue. So our Brute goes down to four now. Alright, we want to land here. A, a mountain, a mountain, a mountain. Uh, not a mountain, okay. Uh, this makes a Mercenary. We can't kill the... Geyser Drake yet. Uh, we, if we play the Rogue, I think we play the Rogue here because it is uh, it is a Mercenary. We're Outlaw, outlaw, right? I could have attacked with the Roadrunner there too. I think I probably should have just because like, they probably wouldn't have blocked it. You never know. But three mana up, I'm red black. Okay, we drew the wrong land. So... You could probably assume they have something here, but that's okay. Yeah, they definitely have something. Let's see what happens. Awesome. They're going to play the minus, oh, minus one draw card, right? Yep. All right, so I'll respond. I'll go to kill that. See if it resolves. It does. Great. Okay, so they still draw a card, right, because they're targeting my creature. And we need a mountain to do our... Oh, it's ward. We can't do that. Or we got our mountain, but we can't target that because it has ward. Um, I think we play... Yeah, I think we just play our two creatures here. I'm going to make them mill two cards. Oh, we hit two non-land cards. Electrodominance and Repulse. Both both pretty strong cards, so I think that was good. So Roadrunner, if I pay three, it can't be blocked by creatures except for haste creatures. All right, this is like one of the best cards in the format, I think, right? When it attacks while saddled, choose a non-legendary creature that saddled this turn and create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of it. Oh, okay. So it makes sense they did it like that. Why are they attacking, though? I guess this is Vigilance, right? Um, I think we could just take seven, right? Yeah, I'll just take seven. I do want to land here. Not a land. Uh, unfortunate, for sure. We could attack with the Brute safely. Uh, Blood Hustler is good. I think we play, um, we activate the Roadrunner and attack with the Brute. They'll go to five. If we swing out, what happens? They probably block here and they take four, nine, eleven. I mean, that's pretty good. Where they block here. 
Yeah, I think we just swing out here. Okay, all going to plan. There are two. Wish we had a burn spell right now, but we have the Roadrunner, which is essentially unblockable. So we could play Blood Hustler and pass here. Or I think we just cast Terminal Agony on the Calamity card. Just just seems a little too good. Oh guys, that was I just played bad. I played really bad. I should have, if I played Peddler, I could have played Peddler and Agony there. That was like a huge mistake. I'm ashamed of myself for that. Uh, but it looks like we won. They have two mana open. So we just, we just attack out here. That was a bad mistake, right? I should have had Peddler in play right now. Um, do we make this unblockable? I don't think we need to. Um, yeah, they could have a shock or whatever, but... Yeah, that was a mistake, guys. That was pretty bad. I hope I win this game. Otherwise, I'm going to blame this 0-3 on that that punt. So, yeah, that was silly. That was really silly. All right, so they need a removal spell, a two-mana removal spell. There's a bounce, that bounce spell. spell. Uh, it's two-mana bounce something. Um, surveil if you have a desert. That's something they could have. Um, they could have a burn spell that does two and... 2 plus X for X the number of other spells they play this turn. Okay, cool. I mean, we thought they might have that, right? So they're tapped out. We're going to play Blood Hunter. We can trigger it once. We'll have a 2 2. They'll be at 1, and we have Blood Hustler in play. So pretty much forcing them, they need a removal spell or they lose. Okay, do they have it? No, oh, that's a good, good rip. Uh, that doesn't really help me. Um, if we play Brute, we can't trigger this, and I think we do want to trigger this, because we also gain the life, which is pretty important. Let's play the Peddler here. I really punted this game, right? Do we want Outlaw's Fury? I feel like we don't want Outlaw's Fury. Desecrator, not so helpful. Yep, okay. Um, yeah, we'll just pass here. Close game. I really messed up. I'll try not to say it again, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, we got to do it. They go to two. Is there anything we could draw? No, I don't think so, guys. I think we lost. Um, no, let's not block there, right? If we can kill the 3-5, can we kill the 3-5? We can't even kill the 3-5, guys. We don't have a kill spell for it. such a close game oh we punted guys sad very sad totally punted right I just would have had an extra 2-2 in play just just punted so 
pretty sad about that. I think when I make a punt that bad, it's like, okay, I kind of deserve to uh, go 0-3. So great start so far. Uh, again, I did three on my two out of Giants, so I feel like I know the set pretty well. I think the stack was good. I had two bad games, and then I punted one. So uh, not thrilled. I do think this deck was good. Because I only played three games, it's like I don't know everything, right? I don't like I don't know how good all these cards are because I never cast that idealist. But I really think this is what you want for this deck. I think I really had it all. Like I had out night at knife knife point, I had Rackish Crew, I had solid creatures. Like Forsaken Miner would be nice to have gotten that on at some point. So Hellspore Brood is as good as it looks, so uh, happy with the deck, not happy with how I played that last game. So, um, let me know what you guys think of the deck. Maybe it's not as good as I think. I uh, would love your feedback. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and if you're new and you're watching this first time, I promise I'm not as bad as I just played. So, <laughs> catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.